So I'm able to access the widget gallery by rolling my mouse over this widget gallery um, tab on the right side of the screen. And from here, I'm able to explore the widget gallery, um, click widgets, and drag and drop them onto the page. Uh, a lot of other HMI packages would call these objects, but we call them widgets because we are embedding JavaScript, and um, these are all items that are, are called widgets in JavaScript. So that is why we call them widgets. Um, I can navigate throughout this widget gallery by looking at the categories and subcategories of widgets. So by default, I started in the basic category, and my subcategory, that is the first one here, is text and numeric. But if I click on that, then I can um, search throughout this category and find other types of widgets. So things like images, basic shapes, clocks, trends. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here that unfortunately we don't have time to look at all of today. But that's only one category. And if we go to other categories like buttons, we see that these mostly have a lot of subcategories as well. So in the case of buttons, we have a lot of different buttons. Uh, most of them are functionally the same. They just look a little bit different, although there are a couple special buttons. Uh, meters. These are visualizations like a, a graph um, just to show um, data in a different way. Switches, these are similar to buttons but with more than two states. So a button would typically only have two states, zero and one. If you needed um, more than that, then you could use something like a knob, a switch, or even a slider to um, click and drag and move a value. So I'll demo a little bit of those. Lights are just going to let us light up a light if the value of something is, is 1, or keep a light turned off if the value is 0. Media, um, there's some cool widgets here like um, media player and video player. Uh, IP camera, which we can use to display an IP camera feed. Um, we have some web controls as well, a, a built-in web browser. Um, if I click on advanced, there's a couple other things here, like a control list, uh, which is pretty useful. Um, BACnet, which we won't look at today, but just some specific widgets for, for the BACnet protocol. Um, we have a lot of icons that we can add, which I think are nice to just add a, a little bit more visualization to your project. It's possible to embed these icons directly onto a button, which I'll show how to do. Similarly, we have a lot of factory automation widgets. Um, most of these you can change the color of or use to create some kinds of animations um, just to add a lot more um, visualization to your project. And the last thing here is user widgets. It's possible to create your own widgets and um, add them to your own widget gallery, and then you can use them on different projects um, anywhere or on any machine that that gallery is stored on. So it's even possible to export that gallery to someone else and allow them to use your widgets. And this is very useful because um, if you've created a widget that you'll be using a lot in your program, then you can easily um, click and, and add it this way. It's even possible to embed JavaScript onto these custom widgets. Um, so it can, it can really save you a lot of time.